Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to document your REST API with Spring Fox Library. If you are interested to learn more about this project, you can visit their website, they have a good documentation. On the other hand, all the code used for this demo is uh, available from my GitHub profile, a demanded. The code is in the architecture test repository. And let's start. Here I have a Spring Boot project with an ordinary REST controller implementation with methods to find task, to create task, to delete task and finally to update task. The first step to do to use uh, Swagger uh, user interface is to add the dependency to the POM project. And after that, you have to download the code of Swagger UI repository. Clicking here and copy the content under this folder to Swagger folder under public folder. Why? Because Spring Boot only self-static content from specific routes. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can visit one of the guides of Spring Boot, serving static web content with Spring Boot. And well, now you are ready to use uh, Swagger annotations like add API, add API operation, Add API response to configure the HTTP uh, code results and so on. I'm going to start the server <coughs> to show you the Swagger user interface. Now uh, we have available. Uh, from a nice and friendly user interface, our REST API. For example, uh, we can find all the stored tasks. Now the response body is empty because there is no data. But uh, we can create a task. Click here. Uh, put in. My description task, description task, response code created, all it's okay. And then if we try again, we can see my description task. Well, I think uh, Swagger is a good tool to make. Uh, the communication between teams uh, fluent and of course to maintain your uh, documentation synchronized with your code. Well, that's all. Uh, see you in the next screencast.